Kia ora Crossroads, hey it's great to be able to chat with you guys uh, this week and we have got to be so close to be able to meet together um, again soon. Our family's really looking forward to that, we're looking forward to catching up with people, seeing each other's faces um, and even just being able to shake hands. But there is one thing that I am going to be a little bit sad that I will miss some of the quietness, the simplicity um, that we've had over the last nearly three months now. Me and Mike have had some great times together and one of the things that's really grown in him is his uh, wanting to sing songs. So the last time we are in the States we got a CD which is all about singing Bible verses and specifically he loves uh, track number six, the Rum Tum Tum song. And in short there's a reporter, there's uh, raccoons and there's a secret society that loves to give things away. It's based around 2 Corinthians chapters 9 verses 6 and 7. Whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and whoever sows generously will also reap generously. I'll be honest, it's very catchy, and it gets stuck in my head very regularly. <clears throat> but it got me thinking, what is it to give generously? And even more than that, there's a line that says, uh, what good is something if you can't give it away? Tristan reminded me of the poor widow in Mark 12 she gave all that she had, her two coins, and that was generous. What struck me more though is that what she had really wasn't worth much, but as soon as she gave it away it was worth everything in Jesus' eyes. Micah has a cow. It is his most prized possession. It has been on every adventure, every car trip, every trip across the Pacific to see family, and he clings to it tightly. The other day we had uh, a friend round and their son stayed with us, who was a little bit upset that their mum had popped out to do some chores. What was Micah's response? Give him cow. And in that moment my heart melted. To see him try and give something that he loves so much and has held onto so tightly to someone else in need. All the things that I've watched him do with that cow, I've watched him drag it around an airport, I've watched him tuck it into bed. All of those things combined, nothing compared to the feeling of watching him give it away to someone in need. So there it was, giving generously. And more so than giving generously, what value did that cow have to Micah? Great value. What value did it have as soon as he went to give it away? So, so much more. So this week I encourage you, look out to be generous. Look out for someone in need. You might make them smile. You might make their day you might even make their week. And you know what? You might do none of those things. But it's what we're called to do. So go be generous, Crossroads.